The U.S. Ambassador to Yemen, Stephen Fagan, said that the U.S. will reclassify the Houthi rebels as a terrorist group on February 16th if strikes on ships in the Red Sea do not cease. This decision, however, is subjected to reversal if the Houthi stop their attacks. This report has more. According to the U.S. Ambassador to Yemen, the U.S. will reclassify the Houthi rebels as a terrorist group by the end of next week if strikes on ships in the Red Sea do not cease. The decision, however, could be reversed. The designation of the Houthis as a terrorist group will take effect February 16th, but it can be reviewed if the Houthi militia seizes their activities in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden, Stephen Fagan said in a post on X. In January, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan announced that the U.S. would once again designate the Houthis as a terrorist group after they engaged in unprecedented attacks against U.S. military forces and international maritime vessels. The designation aims to disrupt funding for the group and hold them accountable for their actions. It is believed that the designation will put pressure on the Houthis to stop their attacks on Red Sea maritime lanes, which have continued despite repeated U.S.-led operations against them in Yemen. The Houthis, who are associated with Hamas, began assaulting ships in the Red Sea when Israel launched its campaign in Gaza. In February 2021, the U.S. delisted the Houthis as a foreign terrorist organization in order to facilitate the delivery of supplies to Yemen, where a humanitarian catastrophe has pushed millions to the verge of famine. The Houthis captured Yemen's capital Sana'a in 2015, sparking a brutal civil war that continues to this day. It is unclear whether the designation would prevent Houthi operations and assaults, as U.S. bombings have yet to impair its capabilities thus far. When Mr. Sullivan originally announced the decision, the Houthis criticized the label, claiming it no longer has impact.